today's video, we are painting Welcome YouTube watchers and creators. This is your art buddy again. V A S U Basu and guys we are painting on the tote bag today. I just was bored painting on a canvas. So I chose to do it on a bag. So without wasting any time hit that subscribe button guys and we're going to start now. So let's begin. We are using acrylic paint. I'm mentioning the colors on the screen. Pause the video whenever you want, guys. And I'm mentioning the brush sizes in the left hand corner, as you can see. Now, first step, we will take a masking tape, guys. A white masking tape or a blue masking tape. But in my case, I'm using a white masking tape around and making a rectangular shape inside. Or some white and take the big brush and layer white inside. We are priming the area first and then let it dry for a good 5-10 minutes. As we will mix white, royal blue and yellow to get a turquoise and, and layer on top of the primed area. Doesn't matter how you apply the paint but should be turquoise on top of the white. Make sure no holes, no empty areas. Now let's take Royal Blue with the same brush. You don't have to clean the brush, just apply the paint in crisscrossy motion. Now see it in slow-mo, I'm crisscrossing my brush. I'm using both sides of the brush to apply the paint. So with that technique, I'm gonna apply in random areas. Make sure like I create a abstract tones of blue. Now I'm using phthalo blue guys. Phthalo blue is the darker shade of the blue. It's like a navy blue. I apply on top of the previous royal blue to give more darker contrast to it. And then I'm going to clean my brush, make sure I clean it good and then blur it out on the edges. Or in other words, blend it on the edges. Make sure your brush is dry and clean when you're doing this technique guys. All right, then we're gonna take a little bit of yellow and add it in between areas with the medium brush. I'm doing the crisscrossiness again just to keep the texture consistent. And then blow dry it for two minutes. Get a nice crisp surface. And then I'm going to start making the shape of the fish, starting with a curvy stroke. I'm using the same medium brush. And then I'm going to make a secondary stroke underneath and join it at the very end. Same thing, I will try to mimic it underneath. So this shape will be the body of the fish, guys. So now I'm adding more fishes in the backdrop. Some will be cropped due to the tape. So I'm trying to utilize the area in such a way that the design looks well spread. Okay, now let's fill in with the first fish. Like prime the area again with white. And then I'm gonna add some fins, loop it and then fill it in. Loop it, fill it in. Make sure the fins are closer to the face of the fish. So for the tail fin, I'm gonna just extend it from the very end with a thick stroke and then do it the same way underneath. So basically guys, I'm gonna add all these details that I have done on the first fish and repeat it on the other guys. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna add whiskers. 
So right in the front, I'm gonna just pull out two tiny strokes. They're a li little bit on a curvy side. But make sure that you pull it from the fish's face outside. And then I'm gonna dry it again with the blow dryer for a few minutes. And now let's add the neon orange on one of the fish. Make sure that you get the edges right. Take your time when you're doing this step. I'm gonna repeat this on the other fish. Let's mix red and yellow to get a basic orange and make spots on our first fish that we were working on. The koi fish has like spots guys, so I'm also adding it on the fins. Red and white to get a little rosy color or pink and then do one of the fish as pink. So layer all that whiteness with this pink all the way to the tail all right so i'm gonna add a little bit more red to it to create some shading the left corner fish gets the basic orange as well Then guys, I will follow up with neon orange tone over the basic orange. All right guys, something happened to the camera. I missed the footage. I added a little bit of red shading. I'm gonna use the pointers. So see, I added a little bit of red to create some shading on the fish's sides. So, you know, repeat that as well so now in this step i'm just going to add black spots on the pink fish so i'm creating black shapes first i'm going to fill them in later and take your time to create some randomness over the fish with black i'm going to give the fish black whiskers Let's take a little bit of red and add a little bit shading to the tail of the fish. We're gonna use same small brush and add white dots as a base color for our eyes on the fish. Guys, stay closer to the front of the fish. Rinse off the yellow from the same small brush and take black. Now we're gonna fill in all the shapes that we created with black on the pink fish. Rinse off the brush one more time guys and take orange the neon orange and create another dot on top of the yellow dot eyes also have variation of shades so we're just creating with yellow and orange again clean your brush take black and then add a black dot over the base colors be very careful and slow about it repeat with white strokes as highlights on the white fish just to give it more life and correct shapes as needed you know whenever you feel like you can do corrections you know and now I'm adding some white highlights on the fins and I will repeat on the other fishes as well the white highlights
and then I'm gonna add highlights on the sides on the body of the fish just to give more life to the to the subject matter I will repeat the same highlighted areas on the pink fish with white. Now I'm going to add blue, royal blue and white and then make these curvy strokes on top of the fishes. Just to create a ripple effect on the water, we want to uh, show that water is moving and in the water the fishes are swimming. And now I'm gonna use the royal blue to create a little shade underneath the body of the fishes. Some sort of shadow being projected. Now I'm just adding a little bit of phthalo blue shadows. Just get some dark areas. So I use royal blue and then phthalo blue. Now we're gonna dry it with the blow dryer for a few minutes. And now guys, it's time to untape the sides. The painting looks dry. And let's reveal the final result. Take out the tape and you will notice that you will create a nice clean edge and the design is right in the middle of your bag and gives it a nice look like a center art piece okay so this is our final result guys and we're going to close our painting with a signature with a sharpie pen and thank you guys for watching this whole process i hope you guys had a good time and please do subscribe my channel so I can keep making these videos. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. One more announcement, guys. You can buy yourself a complete tote bag painting kit on lapiturastudio.com. So now hit that notification icon, guys, so you would be notified when I'm dropping the new video. And till next video, sayonara and take care.